Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss what's the difference between application server and web server. Application server and web server in Java both are used to host Java web application. Uh, though both application server and web server are generic terms. Difference between application server and web servers server is a famous J2E interview question. On the Java J2E perspective, main difference between web server and application server is support of EJB or JMS. In order to run EJB or a JMS, a JMS, when I say EJB, then you can say host enterprise Java application or EAR file. You need you need an application server like JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere, or GlassFish. While uh, you can still run your servlet and JSP or Java web application or .war file inside any web server like Tomcat or Jetty. So as we know that Tomcat is a web server which is which is developed and provided by the Apache Software Foundation. Jetty is one of the web server itself which comes with the uh, which comes with the uh, uh, inbuilt uh, inbuilt api itself so when i compare these two servers application server versus web server then most of the times these terms web server and application server are used interchangeably following are the some of the key differences in features of web server and application server First difference is that web server is designed to serve HTTP content. App server or application server can also serve HTTP content but it is not only limited to just HTTP. It can be provided other protocol support such as RMI or RPC. Most server is mostly designed to serve a static, sorry, web server is mostly designed to serve a static content. Uh, though most web servers have plugins to support a scripting language like Perl, PHP, ASP or JSP Java server pages etc. Uh, through which these servers can generate dynamic HTTP content. Most of the application servers have web server as integral part of them. Uh, suppose if you have some application server then Web server, web server is a already integral part of application server itself. That means app server or application server can do whatever web server is capable of. Additionally, app server have components and features to support application level services such as uh, database connection pooling, transaction management support, messaging services, etc. Application server are more heavy than web server in terms of resource utilization. Some some of the things, some of the key points you will have to keep in mind. These days, web server like Tomcat also uh, provides uh, database connection uh, connection pool support as well. So these are the main key differences between web server and application server. And one more key point you will have to keep in mind when you talk about the web server, then you will have a only one container inside the web container like you have a web container inside a web server which which will handle web component like jsp servlet struts jsf etc but uh, in case of application server you will have two container one is a web container and plus another container we have a ejb container if in your application if you have a EJB component, then you cannot suffice with the uh, web web server. You will you require a application server like WebSphere, JBoss, WebLogic. These are the application server we have. So if you are using EJB in your component, then you require a application server instead of web server. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video.